We are, you know, we are a test of creation. Somebody has created us, and whoever that somebody is looks like us. So they have taken those, all those Neanderthal and the ancient uh, hominid creatures, which the world is filled with them. We know they're there because we're finding them everywhere. But they don't look like us. So we are a special creation, which is why the Bible says in Genesis that God's says, come let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Because for being so great, it's not that great. A bunch of hairy people out there eating each other and living like animals. So let's take one of the females and procreate with her and see what comes out of a connection between the gods and... Our maker said not to eat of it and not to touch the fruit, lest I die by death. The dragon scoffed, bowing its head to the ground as the rest of its body followed. Eva, standing under the tree, gazing at its fiery fruit, knew a new thing, desire. The dragon too knew desire, and it moved closer to Eva, whom it wanted more than anything in the world. Smoke puffed from its nostrils as it spoke. You shall not die, for what do you know of death? Eva, standing under the tree, knew a new thing, that she didn't know death. Our maker knows that in the day you eat from this tree, your eyes will be opened 
and you will be like gods, said the beast. Even knew the dragon was cunning and asked, am I not like God already? What can you offer me that I don't already have? Show me this knowledge that I may decide to take it for my own. The dragon's eyes flashed ruby and sapphire. The woman was coming under its spell. The dragon puffed its chest and spread its wings, then raising its head to the sky, shot God, fire God from its bread. mouth that reached they towards the they like it. That we are you know, we are a test of creation. Oh yeah, yeah he's just like yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, and he's just like yep. Oh same spray, go ahead. Oh yeah, and he's just like yep. Oh same spray, go ahead. Oh yeah, and he's just like yep. Oh same spray, go ahead. So no contest of bodily real bodily souls are being heavily who were killed during the flood. That gave into human bodies when deep when angels had sex rituals with humans in the anti-dualism world. Who are now trying to distract human beings from God and seek their own destruction so that humans don't ever get a felt elevated above angels and they should come. See that complicated. <laughs> oh yeah, and he's just like, yep. Oh, same spirit, go ahead. Oh yeah, and he's just like, yep. Oh, same spirit, go ahead. Oh yeah, and he's just like, yep. Oh, same spirit, go ahead. Oh yeah, and he's just like, yep. Yeah. So then, of course, there is a fellow who wanted the difference between God and us, as God always says exactly what it means to be African. Baby, hey, well, she's a deck. I just used your material without your permission. I mean, promoted you to the stream. There's going to be a link added to the, that part you saw with the Eva stuff. The apple, the dragon. That was him. That was him putting it out there. Uh, I watched that, and so I was uh, bringing a piece of that to you in this uh, virtual flotilla of show and tell. Welcome, everybody. This is the TikTok Red Pill. Uh, stream and I called it that because uh, you know you know I'm 
<clears throat> I was driving, 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 and I saw the office of Dr. Dingle. And uh, and what do you think, what kind of physician do you think Dr. Dingle turns out to be? Uh, names have power, words have power, it's all magic. Subconscious and subliminally. Uh, <laughs> Card for the start of the show, because I'm going to get eight of them. It's eight of clubs. Welcome, everybody. I'm not a cat. How this could be used to allow people to connect and get past the status game. So I'm just going to play with this right now, which is weird. It could be your CEO. It could be your boss. It could be your CEO. It could be your boss. It could be your CEO. It could be your boss. It could be your CEO. It could be your boss. So that would be cool, in my opinion. That would be very cool. Okay, so what happened was, we're doing this big stream here. We, we even, we're even on the X. And if you're on the X, uh, why don't you go watch over there? Why don't you go to the balcony? We'll call X the balcony. And see what happens if people start watching. Cause see, people are trying to have me have Scott Adams on, and uh, it'll be if if I get if there's people watching me on X, it'll be easier to do that. So if you're over there, do me the favor, get the, over there, get up in the balcony, be the hive mind over there. It shows up fancy in the Streamyards chat. You get the little X logo instead of the YouTube one. Um, what happened was. This jackass in the YouTube hive mind called McMosev uh, says, I was about to do my first ever VNA live stream at my channel when I saw this. That means I'm hosting the after party. And I'm like, man, do you even know how to stream yard? Do you even know what you're doing? Why don't you have super co-host powers here for this stream to demonstrate you know how to play branding and and highlight comments and stuff. And then he's all like, oh, I'm on mobile. I'm a mobile guy. I use my phone. So who knows how the, that's going to work out. But he has superpowers and he's around. Oh, look, it's Matsy. Matsy's on Twitter. Go up to the balcony, Matt. Hey, Tayo. <laughs> Tayo. See, now I got to fix it. Look, ladies and gentlemen, it's live in the hive mind. It's the one and only Tayo Falele. Teo for lately. And look, there's Spoon Man. Hey, Spoon Man. You guys have... Did you know Signs and Wonders were performed around 11 months ago in Chino, California? Um, right. And it looked like... And it looked like... I have too much branding. Look at that, Spoon Man from the balcony with the fancy X logo. Thank you, Spoon Man, for your support. Ah, uh, you know, hi, I'm General Griswold, Guy Scrim. I usually like to say the assassins have failed. It turns out I can't say that for like a week. And um, we might do something special. We might do something special, but... Uh, Meanwhile, I do give you all saving throws against my mind control because it's the least I can do. It's powerful, powerful stuff. Powerful stuff. The way that works is you get to choose what you're going to base the savings throw on. It's a choice of four. You choose between survival, social, wisdom, or heart. Uh, that's, I roll the die. If the die comes up over 10... That means you made your savings throw and you take half damage from the mind control I spin at you. And if you get under 10, you don't. You don't you don't make it. You take full damage, but 
but you know you had a savings throw, and you can get bonuses to the roll. If you chat in the hive mind chat, that's a plus two, plus three from the balcony today. And, <laughs> and you add that to the roll of the die. If it's over 10, then you still, you made your savings throw thanks to the bonuses. The bonuses. Survival, social wisdom, or, or heart, or heart. This is these, this is a very important choice. It's a very important choice. Think it through. Like love, love is worth saving. I don't know love. Now encompasses everything. Does it not? It's all there is. It's all there is. You choose survival, social, wisdom, or heart. See you've given yourself up. But this is the most powerful thing that can be done. Surrender. See, and love is an act of surrender to another person. Total abandonment. I give myself to you. Take me, do anything you like with me. So, and that's quite mad. So we come to the strange conclusion that in madness lies sanity. Survival, social wisdom, or heart. Choose. Oh, survivalist, that's a five for you today. You better get your bonuses. Socialist with a 16, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Lovers of wisdom, you got a nat 20 plus three. The next stream saves. Heart folks, prime 19. Yeah. You chose wisely. Uh, Indigo Kids, that's a six for you. You don't get to see. You don't get to see. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. This is a, um, no, it's a, you get a red pill from the internet, the stuff you watch on TikTok. <laughs> red is communist. Discord, uh, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Not that one. The cats. Where's the cats? Mo played the cats. You can play it. Let's see. McMo is here. Look, ladies and gentlemen. He's in the background, being seeing if he has co-host powers. He should be able to find and play the Franco Cats branding now. Okay. He, he should, you, should, you don't know StreamYards enough, and you're going to try no, to host I do, and... I do. It's just that I, I think I sent you the wrong email, so I'm uh, signing in with the other one, I think, maybe. So oh, I, I sent you a private chat, so I'm sorry for my hiccup. Wait, 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 wait. Where's, where's the button to make? There it is. You said you're sorry something? Uh, yeah, just apologies all around. It's my, it was definitely my fault. Um, but I'm still not seeing the, uh, I'm still not seeing the superpowers. So do I need to leave and come back? Uh, I have no idea. We set it up during the, the stream countdown playing intro song, not beforehand like professionals. that's all getting sorted we don't know how long that's gonna take let's just start going we have a bunch of cards we go through on the show 
And also, I try to say and relate what's on the thumbnail and the title to make sure you don't ever feel that I'm, uh, what do you call it, uh, not delivering. Not uh, you. I want you to be satisfied with what you felt. You you said it said on the thing. You clicked on the thing. I want it to be in there somewhere. What can I say? What can I say? Oh, what can you say? You can say special thanks to the Shadow Cabal of production executives that make this all possible. That's people who give me money. You want to be one? Uh, there's YouTube ways. There's usually a Kofi link. It's probably in the description. <clears throat> Special thanks to the Shadow Cabal, so say we all. Now, I've done my part to give McMo his superpowers and make it work several times. Now, um, we're going to leave Tuna up on the screen from Zach until McMo fixes it with his superpowers. That's going to be fun for everybody. No pressure. No pressure, McMo. And yes... Cross, cr cross platform broadcasting rocks, especially if your software is integrated properly. And Denny, Denny, Denny looks like this. If you're a member on the YouTube, you get to make this special emoji in the chat. You just leave the underscores off. You leave the underscores off there. Oh, I changed it. It was supposed to say tuna till you fixed it, Mo. It was supposed to say tuna. I believe that if everyone sees what just a few people become when they wholly embrace their gifts, others will awaken. Now, now, uh, um, uh, oh, here we go, here we go. Uh, this, part, this card says, members only confession and grief graces. Um, there's been some... In, the, in multiple planes of existence, not just a digital one. And as such, I get extended graces because there's there's the famous mimetic um, grief makes people do strange things. So I have all sorts of leeway right now that I don't have. Um, I'm going to do a members only confession, though, because you have to leave something of value behind on the other side of the paywall. And that's where I'm going to put most of that good stuff. Uh, isn't that a nice, fun card to talk about? Now, what loud asshole think of next? Is anybody going to die? We all know that there is no agency. Any living gent can see doing what is right for me. Lifting up my bro so he can grow some eyes to see that doing what is right for me increases all our aging. See, what did you hear that, Elon Musk? You hear that? There's your balcony view is slower, your hive mind chat is slower. I don't know, it's uh, uh you suck, you suck, Elon. That's what that's what Ty says. But uh, your logo is cooler. Actually, most of this stream is going to come from what have what's been happening uh, over on X, anyway. So it, it felt like a good time to do the uh, what you call it cross-platform streaming. Um, one of the things on this card says, "What does the onset of lung cancer feel like?" Um, I'm sure that we know people who know people who have had lung cancer. When it started coming on, first noticing, what was that like? What was that like for you? Or did you not really tell until you coughed up blood? Inquiring minds want to know.
Okay, we're gonna we were gonna let's see if we can get another saint for this next part of the stream. It's um uh I've been falling out. You saw the ghoul me. People say I lost weight. I've it it's an exciting and exciting fun news. Over on the Amazon Prime, they've released uh, the Fallout, the Fallout show, which is based off a video game series, and we're gonna talk about uh, McCarthyism. In, in a little while, and uh, that's because of that. And uh, this is a ghoul from Fallout. You can tell because they have no nose. I asked the AI to ghoul me up, and that's what, that's the best uh, over at Night Cafe I could get out of it. Also provided by Night Cafe, they've added, they had three free, uh, uh, what you call it, Dolly 3 uses, and I used one, and I'm so impressed. Because the Dolly thing over there speaks my language there. Visu guys. Visu guys. That's like, hey guys, look. Visu guys. The features of Hoobohead. And uh, <laughs> to explain, you know, I like I like to deliver on the thumbnail and the title. The thumb, <laughs> the, the Hoobohead reference is part of our Den Deadwood Dandies exploration. Where much like much like the far frontier and the gold rush days depicted in the HBO series Deadwood, um, the best thing for us to do is build a hardware store where we teach each other how to use these platforms and be the TV stations that we are, uh, like how to cross platform, how to give your friend co-host superpowers. And stuff like that, we, we co-educate each other in this flotilla of channels of multiplanar existence, uh, three of clubs. We're in the clubs club today. That's always fun. That's always fun. The list? Yes, any any of the first level ones. I'm going to get a soda. Anyone want one? Hey, Graham, I'm not in the room, right? What room? I want to cast magic missile. The room where he's casting all these spells from. He hasn't cast anything yet. I am though, if you'd listen. I'm casting magic missile. Why are you casting magic missile? There's nothing to attack here. I, I'm attacking the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, the saint associated in our Stephen Saint Sainted system is the Three of Clubs Juve, Juve, by Juve, Juvenally of Alaska. In Alaska, we can take as a reference to get on with the fallout part. Um, what happened was, what happened was, Amazon released this fallout part, and the part I really wanted to talk about and even risk copyright to try and put on the screen present the share screen this one here now i doubt the audio will work and i don't think have i turned captions on no the, the yes yeah, subtitles please just in case turning even allies into potential competitors low energy prices scourge this winter and will it lead to an expanded war this is the most important scene in the in the movie where they talk about fiduciary responsibility and the problems, the problems associated with the corporate 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 caca caca stock or, uh, the corporate. <laughs> so say we all. Yuck! 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 Ho! 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 <laughs> products division I you know she has to know where to get in touch with me I told her months ago so all I said was Liz I'm doing some work with the FBI I might be out of touch for a while No, 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 no. Remember, no, no, no.
um, apparently, if you stream over on Twitch with the product placement, they'll bo- their bots will come like boost your channel. Isn't that fun? Um, <laughs> let's do this. Okay, so this part of this show right here, Fallout, the new Amazon thing. He talks about fiduciary responsibility and how corporations have one, and, and as such, they decide that the most profitable thing to do to help them sell bunkers, like the one Mark Zuckerberg is building in Hawaii. Hawaii is a place for a bunker, dude? Come on. Come on. Um, <clears throat> the, the, okay, so that's the deal, right? The, 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 see, it's on the card. I got to do it. I got to do it. The air, the air, where they get it wrong is, is, okay, corporations are dragons, my friend. What happens is a bunch of old white men get together in a circle and they summon the dragon and they put a funnel under the dragon's hoard, like left up, they build a funnel and they summon the dragon on the top of the funnel and the dragon goes out and gets all the gold. Like a big red dragon goes out and gives everybody diabetes and it gets people rich. Coca-Cola, yes. And um, <laughs> the the problem with the dragon, the dragon corporation, is that it's a single entity life form based on the, she- the seven chakra life form prism of concerns. You see, the, it is only concerned with the survival. It's a soul, soul, sir, service, service. And it survives by performing its fiduciary responsibility to the shareholder wizards underneath it. But the thing is, when we incorporate giant beasts, such as a corporation, these things that become what they become, what we need to do as a society to not be losers is to incorporate higher levels of life form responsibility that are of equal importance to the existence of the corporation as the fiduciary responsibility, such as um, uh, integrity, right? The the orange one is integrity of self, uh, the internal po- empowerment. So, like, it, the corporation must have find itself res- behaves respectively in the world, perhaps. I don't know how we work that out, but then we also do the social layer, where it has a responsibility to the public to not harm them, maybe? We do a little Hippocratic oath that's equal to the fiduciary responsibility? How to fix society here on the Grim Grizz Show. psyche is far from being safely synthesized. On the contrary, it threatens to fragment only too easily under the onslaught of unchecked emotions. While this situation is familiar to us from the studies of anthropologists, it is not so irrelevant to our own advanced civilization as it might seem. We too, too, too can become dissociated and lose our identity. We can be possessed and altered by moods or become unreasonable and unable to recall important facts about ourselves or others, so that people ask, what the devil has gotten into you? 
We talk about being able to control ourselves, but self-control is a rare and remarkable virtue. But I, uh, so the intention is like this will be, I'll cut this part off and leave it as a video. Um, because there was no wishful thinking in them, because being so horrible, they were therefore all the more likely to be true. But our fulfillment as well as wish for, for fear for fill, fear fulfillment, man, Clive, Clive, fear fulfillment for, oh, Jesus, dude. What's reality? I don't know. When my bird was looking at my computer monitor, I thought, that bird has no idea what he's looking at. And yet, what does the bird do? Does he panic? No, he can't really panic. He just does the best he can. Is he able to live in a world where he's so ignorant? Well, he doesn't really have a choice. The bird's okay, even though he doesn't understand the world. You're that bird looking at the monitor, and you're thinking to yourself, I can... All right, so what happened was, here on this card there, I was trying to spell cacistocracy because I couldn't at the time. And so I went to our good friend Miriam, who, who we always, who we on Thursdays, like today, we get the secret message from, from, um, but just in case you were wondering, corporate cacistocracy is spelled K A K A. Uh, it doesn't even have to play the word one. All right, let's get to the secret message. The secret message for the week is furlong. Furlong. A distance of 220 yards. Horse racing. Brusque. A person may be described as brusque when they are talking or behaving in a very direct and brief and unfriendly way. Oh, surf. Surfeit. Surfeit. Surfeit is a formal word that refers to amount or supply that is too much. More than you need. You have a surfeit. Surfeit. You have a surfeit of brusqueness. Brusque. My jackass. Furlong. You could run a furlong to get a, a surfeit of brusqueness, you. Discomfort. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> There's too much pressure when you're on two platforms, man. There's just too damn much. As far as I'm concerned, because it looks to me like the tools and obstacles, for example, the Gibsonian affordances, while well, tools produce... The apprehension of a tool produces positive emotion. The apprehension of an obstacle produces negative emotion. And it's the same with allies and, or with, yeah, allies and foes. It's the same with markers forward and markers of progress and markers of failure. The roughest, toughest he man, stuffest hombre has ever crossed a Rio Grande. And I ain't no man be pamby. I'm, I'm having too many internal markers of failure, failure right now. Uh, further on the cards, though, we have we have General Gaius and General McCarthy, and that was my note to say this McCarthyism isn't my job. But the McCarthyism, the from what what I'm not a historian. I don't even read the the, uh, the Spider Man kids books. Um, <laughs> Tom Holland is his name. Don't read his books. I don't know the rest is history. But but I do know there was a thing called McCarthyism where they rooted out the commie actors in Hollywood and stuff. And and as such, as such, it was a, a nod to the influence of the Hollywood is what they made the druid wands out of when they cast their magic spells. And and but they rooted out, they, they recognized the power and the influence and began World War III, the war for your mind. It's fifth generational warfare now, so I don't know. We're in the sixth campaign of World War III. Meanwhile, meanwhile, on the theater, world theater, Israel is apparently being invaded by drones from Iran. 
which which brings me to the uh, the, the missing agent, um, the agent who was it was anyway uh, uh, the part of part of the the work from that agent pointed pointed out that um, <laughs> that the, what the speech that happened on October third or fourth in Iran and how many times it referenced America. And, uh, but all I really have right now is the pro tip is that that agent reports that this James Lindsay fella over here on X, uh, who is happily retweeting Elon's, uh, bullshit. Uh, um, <clears throat> that fella, she said that that fella was onto a lot. Uh, he was closest to her in the form of what's actually going on. And that there was a lot that was done in the laws that were put into place in 1996, and that we should really watch out for um, the word whole, eight, like with the W, um, and the integral system, and how it puts a layer and makes Walmart abortions and, and Alice and the crystals. And People, people who who spin on the further edges of mentation um, often are able to find key insights that the others of us might miss. What is the whole child initiative, and how is Mark Zuckerberg associated with it? Yeah, yeah. What is the hockey stick? What is the hockey stick, and and what's that have to do with climate change? And um, how are they? See this James Lindsay cat. He made his fame by by demonstrating how bullshit peer review was with his good friend Peter Bog Hossian, who looks like Boss Hog if he'd ever put the costume on. God, bless it, bless it, bless it. <laughs> So, uh, mental pharmacopoeia TikTok red pill deliver on the title. What? Yes, and the Hoopleheads, did you really talk about it? Well, you said it's Deadwood, but Hoopalehead, Hoopalehead comes from a great tweet and or reply from you. What? Yeah. Uh, just look here. Find it. Find it. Play branding. Oh, God, don't look at that. Where is it? The difference between genius and insanity is communicability, and no one understands you. What? What? Oh, yes, this one. Uh, do you know what equity is? Look, you can do this. You know what equity is? You can show them too, Jackass. Son of a... Do you know what equity is? Do you know what lowest common denominators are? And how do we deal the fact that the simple phrase, equity only occurs at the lowest common denominator, Harrison Bergeron, was not enough to prevent everything that has happened now, and you're uh, you're seeing you're seeing some resistance in Texas and other states against the DEI, but they're just rebranding as other institutions and still spending the same money to divide the nation. Shush. Remember, Ambali, there is no agency. We want. We want what's best. Okay, but but one of the points is that um, if you if you were programmed as a leftist do-gooder through the public indoctrination of the schools, and you end up discovering how the world is and how it really works, but you've already found your job and your passion industry, such as uh, the arts. Wouldn't you incorporate what you understand about how the world really works into your product art form? I think so. And I think that's what's really happening and has always happened through this, through the programming they do through the mass popular media. This one, though, is special because it's based on a video game. And so it hits way more Darmok and Tanagra than your average entertainment. What? 
Mm -hmm. um, I, I am General Griswold, Gaius Grimm of the first LARP ingression protocol. And, and the, the note I left for myself on the card is that I am not. I am not General McCarthy, but he's out there. So if anyone finds the General McCarthy for the LARP ingression protocol, like it'd be great if we he and I could coordinate as we seize the panopticon while humanity still has access to each other through the internet, Valerie's letter. That oh, and the TikTok red pill. I mean, come on, guys. It's called TikTok. If you didn't realize it was the start of a countdown, go back to sleep. So say we all. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Ho, ho, ho. And I end, the, I end the streams on the train. We take the train out of here. Other shows land the plane. Get your own branding. We interrupt us leaving the show to answer to, to deliver better on the Hooblehead Buffalo thing. We never found the tweet. We never found the tweet. But the tweet, the tweet was based on the Hooblehead notion as provided in the Deadwood Dandies version of the HBO show Deadwood, which featured the one Timothy Oliphant, who went on to be in the show Justified, who played against Injustified, the most charming and wonderful villain who is now the ghoul, ghoul in the brilliant show Fallout over on the Amazon. Right, they got a good ghoul shot. Not in that episode. Oh, there he is. There he is. There we go. There we go. You a president now. Don't say why not. Well, and you might want. And I don't see why I'm not a general. <laughs> but uh, he, uh, uh, good old, good old, good old Al. Al Swear Engine Al over on the HBO show. I did with, fuck, Deadwood. Uh, <laughs> he was walking with his competitor. And he referred to everybody else as the Hoobleheads. And uh, if you don't want to be a Hooblehead, you have to start participating. Otherwise, you're just... Here being a hoopo head, right? Is everything all right in here? Yes, Nanny. God damn it, McMo. You don't even have a link to your channel for me to put in the chat. Now I have to come on, do this thing here. Here, what? Go we'll do this one. Everybody can see. We have to go all the way to the YouTubes. Not the full screen. Share this tab instead. We got to go to McMo save and see if we can find this son of a. I s oh, you know what? We have, we have this. We have this. I have this new, I searched new, and it's new branding just dropped from McMo. That's got to be on your channel, right? This is a lovely one. Oh, welcome. I hope you're feeling virtually not alone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I don't know if you can 
drugs even listening to this. Like the voices in the background makes them feel virtually not alone. So we go to that, we go, we find that, and then we're on your channel of 41 whole subscribers. Oh, look, you just put Ask McMosev. That's fancy pants. Here it is, folks. We're going over there now. We're going to hang out with Mo. Uh, oh, not the train again. You've given them eight trains now. We'll smoke it out. <laughs>